Hello everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers on board this Southerly 115 for a look around her interior so that you can see her layout, how things look and if she might be the one for you. So here we are, we're in the aft cabin and we're looking at the stern at the moment and as you can see, we'll start at the top, you've got a hatch there for uh, access or escape out onto the, the coach roof there and that's got a blind fitted to it too. We have three windows fitted into the coach roof and two windows fitted into the hull so it feels really nice and bright down here. We've got a lovely great big double bed there as well, nice and long, nice and wide as well, fitted at a slight angle along the starboard side. We've got uh, access to cupboards above the bed as well, so if you just look in here, we can see we've got stowage there. If you look around the boat generally, generally we'll see we've got stowage fitted into almost every little nook and cranny that Southerly could find, and that's a, a really lovely feature. Another shelf under there below as well, and uh, take note of the double sockets there as well, which are dotted around the boat, so really, really lovely. Uh, port and starboard sides as well we've got shelves we've got curtains down here as well on two of the three coach roof windows and if you just look on the starboard side we can see we've got a lovely cupboard unit plenty of space in there look for all your bits and pieces above there we've got a shelf and we can see the cockpit table nestling on there at the moment we have a vanity unit set in here and we've got drawers as well here for all your bits and pieces so lots and lots of storage in here feels really really lovely great headroom probably about five foot ten five foot eleven so not the usual kind of quite low down uh headlinings in a cabin of this type very nice but let's look forwards and as you can see we have a a passageway here which basically goes in between the port on the on the sorry the head on the port side and the cockpit molding and the engine on the starboard side so there's a little bit of a duck down probably five six five seven maybe but uh, we'll go through there but before i do we'll just look at the uh, the access to the engine room there so these two big lovely big really well made hatches with some really really good looking sound insulation fitted to it as well take those out put them to one side and you've got great access to the port side of the engine the top of the engine the stern of the engine and the shaft etc etc as well as lots of uh, electrical bits and pieces down there too so uh, really great access so let's uh, walk through this compartment and we arrive into the galley which we're going to talk about in a moment but I'll turn to starboard and we'll look at the companionway. And as you can see, really nice and easy to traverse. Nice and wide, nice and easy, nice and uh, shallow to get down. No problem at all. We've got uh, hinged doors on that as well. So they hinge out of the way. And we've also got uh, uh, a, a drop-in hatchway here, should you be in bad weather, etc. or if you want to keep a bit of weather out. Underneath these steps, as you can see, we've got a few other bits and pieces. We have the heating controls. We've got the engine start stop, we've got the uh, the main isolator as well as one or two other bits and pieces. And also set into that bulkhead there, we've got access to the forward end of the engine as well. So if you wanted to have a quick, a quick look under there, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Really nice and easy. And just looking back down at the passageway we've come through, there we go. So a slightly restricted headroom as you'd expect, but it is nice and easy and unobstructed to come through here. And a couple of steps up and you're into the galley area. Really fantastic. Right, so, Moving to the starboard aft corner of the accommodation, looking up there, we've got an extinguisher above a nice shelf for your binoculars, for your handheld compass, etc, etc. And that uh, leads down to a hanging locker, so that looks like where we'd hang all the wet fowlies, which is a great idea because it means they're not all being trudged through to the main accommodation at the end of the day. And another great idea on the right hand side, immediately at the bottom of the companionway, is a heads compartment. So nice and easy to jump down there when the call of nature occurs if you're in the cockpit. And that leads you into a really, really nice compartment. In fact, you step down into here, which gives you a massive amount of headroom. We've got the manual head on the after bulkhead there. We've got a nice sink on the outboard side and we've got shelves above. It looks like it's kitted out to be uh, a little section for each person on board perhaps. But uh, looking up, you can see how high the headroom is here. And we've got a lovely great big window in here as well. So lots of light coming into here for when you're spending a little bit of time there. So let's move forwards and we'll look at the navigation area. So as you can see, we've got a nice seat here really high and elevated which gives us great visibility through the windows there as well so at sea if you're steering from down here you can steer from down here or up in the cockpit it means you've got great visibility we've got a nice navigation area right next to the helm which gives uh gives you somewhere to look after your charts if you're still using paper charts and obviously storage beneath as well we have a cupboard beneath there and we have a cupboard beneath the helm is there helm there as well so lots and lots of room and if we explore the outer bulkhead 
all the starboard bulkheads. You can see we've got a small weather station, stereo, VHF, gas alarms, electrical panel. We've got the radar and we've also got the chart plotter there as well too. Along with, in front of the helm, we've got the, the wheeled helm here as well and the, the compass there too. So already great. And then if I just duck down and look behind the wheel here, you can see we've got uh, the windlass control there. So electric windlass, which is something that uh, I think we'd all like. And behind here nestling, we've got the the keel lowering and raising switch which is also replicated up in the cockpit which is great now if i just turn around actually while we're talking about the keel um obviously it's uh, always a bit of an elephant in the room with these raising keel boats but here it is it forms kind of um it, it's a big molding inside the saloon but uh, it's not too much out in the way it forms the sort of side of the galley as well we do have an, a nice access hatch here which gives us it's a little bit stiff i can't do it with one finger but that gives us access so that we can actually see the raising and lowering mechanism but also fitted into that that we can see the raising and lowering through this nice clear plexiglass um cover there too so it means that we can while it's here and it, some people might perceive it as being in the way it's something to hold on to it's something to lean on to it's something to look at your mechanism through and generally it doesn't cause too much of a problem either it even stops your place sliding off the starboard side of the galley there if that's something you need um okay let's move forward and as you can see just looking down we've got lovely flooring in here and then raising up to the starboard side as I take two steps down into the accommodation, really nice sofa. We've got uh, a shelf shelf unit above, and you'll notice it's all uh, trimmed off really nicely down here, really well thought out. The headlining looks good, uh, it feels nice and clean down here, smells good down here as well too, really rather a nice place to be. We've got uh, what looks like an adjustable bookshelf there too, so uh, bits and pieces can uh, go behind there, and the back of the sofa acts as a fiddle too, very good. We've got a bit of stowage behind the seats here as well, access to the chain plate, and uh, the, the, the upholstery generally feels rather nice. A lot of it has just recently re been redone. Now we've got uh, access to storage underneath this side as well through those uh, locker doors and all feeling really rather nice down here. Moving forward, we've got the stereo for this, uh, one of the speakers for the stereo, smoke alarm, clock and barometer there as well, very good. And uh, that leads us nicely into the forward cabin and as you can see we've got port and starboard singles really nice big ones which is great news for anybody sleeping in here we've got windows set into the whole port and starboard and we've also got a hatch in here as well with a blind on it also we have access to the anchor chain there though that is screwed shut so it's just there um, for emergency really i guess and you can see we've got the uh, rather nice looking cockpit cushions here um, looking very good condition sitting on the starboard berth at the moment we've got storage beneath we've got storage beneath and we've got uh, shelving on the port side and uh, this uh, this assembly here basically we've got the infill here which makes the the saloon table in the saloon into a double and we've got this uh, this piece of wood here which is all locked into place it's all tailored and essentially that is the saloon table extension which means that more people can eat at the table but i just love the way it's all fitted in tailored into position all nice and secure all nice and solid and all ready to be taken down and used very good indeed so let's uh, move back and look at the uh, the port side of the main saloon. As you can see, really nice U-shaped sofas all finished off again, a bit like the starboard side. Lovely great big saloon that raises and lowers and the, the infill that, that I just showed you fits into here. So we've got a nice big table if we need it. We've got stowage beneath the cushions here. We've got stowage outside of the cushions there as well, similar to the port side. And if I just move forward slightly, you can see we've got a bottle of stowage there outboard of the, the back of the the uh, seat rests and all looking really rather nice so let's go up to the galley and have a look and as you can see as we pass we can see we've got lots of little shelves there or stowages and in the galley itself really nice area straight down from the companionway so making cups of tea etc really nice and easy to pass back up to the skipper or the navigator or whoever's uh, helming etc or crewing up there the uh, the fridge i believe the original was taken out this has been sealed up now and we've got a proper full-sized unit underneath which in my eye is an improvement we've got a double sink here and we've got uh, essentially a, a dry stowage down there below and inside cupboards here we've got uh, stowages for cups and saucers foods cruets etc etc cooker usual yachting affair 
nice bit of worktop on top and if we need to we can slide that down behind to give us access to the two burners really nice and easy and everything feels really solid down here lovely big fiddles everything's solid and feels really really well made so well done southerly that's why they've got such a great rep Port aft side here, we've got uh, stowage for plates, etc. We've got some more drawers, a cupboard, another socket, and uh, basically a really lovely galley. Should be a pleasure to use at sea. So we'll uh, we'll come to the end of our tour by just making our way back through the tunnel to the aft cabin. And uh, if I just turn and undo the lock here, close the door to the main accommodation there, we now have pretty much a private ensuite. So in here we've got a sink, we've got a, another manual head, and on the outboard side, on the port side, we've got room to stow all flannels, toothpaste, etc., etc. Really nice addition, just makes use of that extra space. And uh, on the after end of that part of the boat, nice hanging locker there, more of a dry one because it's all nicely lined, etc. So that's where your uh, your nicer clothes will go, I guess. And then back into the after cabin on the port side, you can see we've got a really lovely. Um, either a berth or a lovely great big sofa and as you can see we're all uh, lined up throughout as well with shelves behind shelves above lots of safety features on this boat lots of extinguishers lots of smoke alarms etc etc so this has been tim from Berkshire drop brokers just showing you around the interior of this 1990 southerly 115 hope you've enjoyed the tour hope you've got a really good idea as to just how well these boats are laid out and how well they're put together and probably why they're so popular if you'd like any more information just go to berkshirebrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality. Take care. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.